Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. Today we are going to talk about PCF8575 extender board. So, what is the purpose of this module? Uh, you are probably not going to encounter this problem too many times. But sometimes it's really handy to have a more pins on your microcontroller. And by using this module we could do exactly that. And on top of uh, what I just said, it's uh, really easy to connect and uh, really easy to code. So first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, connect this extender board with uh, this uh, female uh, to male uh, jumping wires on this side, on the back side of this module. So let me show you what we have in regards of pins. Uh, first, uh, we have a pin INT. Uh, this is a pin that could be used uh, for the purpose of uh, interrupt, but we are not going to use this pin. Later on, I'm going to uh, show you uh, how we are going to code this. Then we have uh, SCL and SDA for communication, and we have 5 volts and the ground pin. So I'm going to connect this to my microcontroller. First we have ground pin, then I have 5 volts pin, then I have SDA pin, that is uh, D2 on ESP8266. Let me see, it's fourth from the right, then SCL, that's D1, all right, and one more, that is interrupt pin, I'm going to use D3. All right, I'm going to connect this to my breadboard. And now in order to test this, I'm going to connect ground pin to my breadboard. I'm going to use ground pin from this extender board. And now, 330 ohms re uh, resistor from P0, another one from P1, and third one from P2. Now I'm going to connect some LED diodes. All right, and now I'm going to connect these diodes to the ground. All right, now what I want to do, I want to uh, write the code uh, for this extender board uh, to turn on and off these diodes uh, sequentially. So if you're not already, please uh, create another project with your uh, favorite IDE. And in my case, that is uh, Visual Studio Code, but you can use any other that you like. Uh, and go into platform INI. Now we are going to uh, include one library that we need for this project. So lib dependency. And now I'm going to open uh, my uh, Firefox and I'm going to uh, navigate to this page on GitHub, uh, xrif, if I am reading this correctly, uh, PCF8575 library. I'm going to copy this address. Uh, it's recommended for you to read documentation about this library because uh, this library is uh, really handy. And I'm going to get back to my Visual Studio code. I'm going to paste this address and I'm going to save it. All right. Uh, in here, first, we are going to uh, include uh, this library. So PCF7585H. So not library, but H. First, we have to define this library. So I'm going to say PCF. 8575, I'm going to call it extend, extension, all right, and in brackets I'm going to type uh, 0x20. This is uh, the default address for our extension board. And now, with extension, pin mode. First we are going to deal with P zero, I'm going to set it to output. 
So it's same as the setting of pin mode for your microcontroller. But in this case, we are going to use extension object because we want pins from our extension board. I'm going to copy this for all three pins that we are going to use. So I'm using P0, P1 and P2, all of three set to output. And of course, extension begin. So with this line, we are going to initialize this object. And in here, I am going to need one integer variable, call it counter, set it to zero, so the first state. And now extension, digital write for pin zero to low. With every iteration, first thing that I want to do, I want to turn off all of my LED diodes. And I'm going to copy this. There is no point in writing for loop for only uh, three of uh, pins. If you deal with more pins, it would be uh, handy to have uh, like uh, array of pins and uh, to process everything with for loop. For now, there is no point in doing that. Now, if counter is zero, I want to use extension digital, right? So you can do all the same like uh, with uh, pins on your microcontroller. You can attach interrupt, uh, you could uh, do uh, digital read, uh, read all, read write, what, whatever you want. So uh, I'm uh, writing, so with digital uh, write to uh, pin P0 high. All right, I'm going to copy this, else if counter it's one so second state extension digital right p1 and finally else if counter equals two p2 and uh, just to mention something with some of my previous episodes, I got a uh, bad comment about uh, code I'm writing. That guy who commented uh, actually uh, complained about me not using squarely brackets uh, with uh, my loops. So if you don't know that, that is uh, part of basic C programming. If you have only one line in execution part, like in this case, you don't have to use squarely brackets for the scope. But if you have more than one line, like something like do it in here you would have to provide squarely brackets in order for this to work like this but with only one line you don't have to all right if that is clear now i'm going to deal uh, with uh, counter so if counter is greater than two so we have uh, three states, uh, zero, one, and two. And if it's uh, greater than two, I'm going to reset uh, counter back to zero. Else I'm going to add one plus equals one. And I'm going to make delay of half of second. All right, now I'm going to connect my microcontroller to my computer. I'm going to build and upload this code. All right, now I'm going to show you the result. As you can see, my code, uh, it's doing exactly what it should do, but only this uh, green uh, diode, it's too weak. Okay, now you should be able to see lights from green diode. Let's do it again. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you learned something new and interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.